So, my name is Rainer Lang and I'm a German national. I'm living here in Saudi Arabia since 2019. And I'm working for a German multinational company called Siemens Healthineers. And I'm here the commercial manager in Saudi Arabia. That's actually a nice story. Um, the, the first time I was in Saudi Arabia was approximately 2010. And uh, you know that uh, at that point of time it was a complete different country than, than today. And I had many business trips to Saudi, let's say between 2010 and 2014. And uh, before I came to Saudi, I lived also in Dubai two and a half years, three and a half years in Kuwait. And actually in 2018, I lived in Germany and I did not uh, like my job there. And I called the, uh, the recruiting manager for worldwide placement of functions and I told her, oh, I'm ready to go out again. I want to go outside of Germany. You can send me anywhere in the world but Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and yeah, and, uh, and guess where I ended up in Saudi Arabia? Um, and uh, I never regret that step. Uh, it was very good. Oh yeah, with respect to traveling here around the country, I mean, uh, I saw already a lot and it's very interesting. The more I see, the even more I, I want to see more. And uh, to be honest, before I came to Saudi and even when I was here in the past for business trips, um, well, there was not a lot of imagination. I thought really, well, it's only desert, nothing else. And although I lived in the Middle East, but now being based here permanently in, in Saudi Arabia, I mean, it's really amazing to explore all, all the nature around. And of course, from all the deserts and all the UNESCO World Heritage Sites from, from Al Asa uh, to Al Ula and the old town in Jeddah, just to give some examples, I, I pretty much like that. And I'm exploring even more. Yeah, talking about Riyadh, I mean, maybe first about the city itself. I mean, since I'm here, it's year number five started for me. Um, well, even a lot of development things are going on. Even here where I live around me, it was flat land before, and now you see a lot of buildings there. But it's not only of uh, developing of, of, of buildings, it's also a lot uh, of, of uh, cultural activities what, what are happening, uh, like the Riyadh season. So I, I think they are today are so uh, talking about uh, what what my activities are in my free time. I think it's on one side it's doing outdoor uh, stuff, uh, going to the desert, 
a little bit of tune bashing uh, going uh, also for overnight barbecue camping in the desert, which I really like. That is one part of the story when the weather uh, allows it. And on the other side, um, I'm following here my hobby, which is uh, DJing. Um, in my youth, I was DJ doing the DJ quite a lot for a lot of events uh, in, in Germany, small celebrations, big celebrations. Yeah, talking about the art scene, I mean, also I can observe a big difference from the past to nowadays. I mean, last weekend I visited also the Line Experience and uh, afterwards uh, around in that same area is also the Jux Art Festival and there was uh, still some exhibition for Riyad Nur and uh, there were some light exhibitions with uh, different, different, uh, different ar artists from all across the, the globe. Um, uh, showed there something and this was very very impressive and uh, yeah I pretty much like that and uh, you see it's um, yeah it's much much more open uh, the country to art than it was a couple of years uh, ago. love to talk about Middle Beast. This was really one of the eye-catching things here in, in, in Saudi. Also one of the events you would have never expected some years ago. And especially because my hobby is DJing, it was very great to see DJs from across the globe uh, right in front of my, my house door. <laughs> and um, yeah, even uh, there were some artists where, which I knew from my youth and they were coming now to Saudi to perform and I still can see them. And I saw them, let's say, 30 years ago in Germany and they're still performing and now at the Middle Beast here. And uh, I went to the Middle Beast the last two years and it becomes bigger and bigger. And uh, the last event was really amazing, not only about the music, but also the light effects, the sound effects, how much money and effort they really put in uh, was really incredible and uh, I did not see one of such similar events uh, in, in the whole of Europe. So I'm here at the right point of time. Yeah, talking about my, my career, I had many different steps in my life. I, I changed uh, a lot my, my job titles, positions, countries. Uh, originally, uh, I was fighting white collar crime uh, in a consultancy firm globally. I was really traveling a lot around the globe for that. Uh, then I moved uh, to another German multinational company, was doing audit uh, for, for almost two years. And uh, then I ended up uh, with, uh, with Siemens and this was the best decision uh, in my life. And also there I was initially in the forensic accounting uh, division, also traveling across the globe. And uh, then they asked me to build up the, the audit hub in the Middle East and they sent me to Dubai. And this was the first time I interacted with the Middle East. And uh, yeah, since then I'm somehow attached to the Middle East and also of course to Saudi Arabia uh, since those days. And uh, finally I took the step then becoming here the head of finance for Siemens Healthineers in Saudi. So a lot of different things, a lot of changes in the professional life, but that is something what really I think brings you forward and also the Middle East gives a uh, right platform for that. And I really like, um, of course, the challenges daily on a daily basis, um, but uh, working with different nationalities from all across the globe. But in the end, uh, this brings 
bringing all these values and different views together um, increases for a better outcome. The best part of, of my job is really working with these different uh, nationalities together and really sitting in a meeting, having people from, from Pakistan, from India, from Saudi Arabia, from Germany, uh, uh, from all other places, even Ethiopia, we have really a multicultural environment. I mean, I really, really love that. And uh, yes, sometimes it's, uh, the emotions come also up. And this is also a good sign for me when these emotions are coming up from the different cultural backgrounds, because then I know really they take the work serious. And, and to overcome these challenges again, to go and work for one goal, uh, this is really great and that's what I, what I like here. Yeah, I mean, talking about the heritage, I mean, of course, I'm going to explore more and more and dig into, into the culture and the history of the country. Uh, the most impressive what, what I found is, is definitely Al Ula, and not only Al Ula, the city center, but all, all the things also around. And uh, really, which gives a great picture of the history of this country, which is much older than, than I expected, back to the Nabataean. Uh, ages and, and even when you look at uh, uh, Jabal Igma, uh, all the, the, the rock art, what you see there uh, from different ages, different uh, centuries, um, all of that I would not have expected before. And this is all part of the culture of, of this country, which I really not expect before uh, to see here in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, talking about socializing, I mean, this is a very important uh, factor, especially when you live abroad, uh, far away from your home country. And uh, what I find really what is very much easy here in Saudi Arabia is to get connected uh, with people um, from all nationalities. And that's what I like in the Middle East in general, and especially in Saudi Arabia, you meet people from across the globe. Uh, you hang out with uh, at the weekends or in the evening you meet and, and all really, really nice people. And uh, that is really yeah, very important uh, that, that, you, that you consider in your free time also spending time with, with others and makes it uh, even more comfortable to be here in this country. Uh, yes, of course, you don't get the German food here a lot around, um, but uh, I love the Arabic food, I love the Saudi food, I love Indian food, and uh, that's what you, for example, don't get uh, in Germany around every corner. <laughs> so this is uh, even a big plus in the end.
So there's nothing specifically really what I'm really, really uh, missing. Yeah, talking about the most favorable experience I had in, in Saudi Arabia, it was definitely my travel uh, to Al Ula. Uh, this was really most memorable and um, seeing a lot of different things, heritage sites, natural sites, natural sites from volcanoes to rock formations to rock art and of course uh, the tombs of, uh, of Hekra. And this travel was really amazing. I had my brother coming from Germany visiting me here and then with two other people from the embassy. Uh, we went together to Al Ula. We drove there with the car. You know, it's a very lengthy ride there, uh, more than ten and a half hours. Um, but really, it was worth it staying there a couple of days and not only doing the, the, the standard touristical uh, offered tours, but also exploring the nature around, seeing rock formations um, right outside from Al Ula, even a dry, an hour drive. Um, this was really, really amazing. And even at one street, uh, by coincidence, I found some rock art, a little bit hidden. And I'm sure it was uh, the first time someone saw these, these rock arts there. Um, this was really, really memorable. So when I go back one day, uh, then I will definitely uh, miss the hospitality and the, the Saudi food. And uh, let's say getting um, into, getting to know different people from different nationalities, which is very, very easy here to get in contact with different people, which is, for example, in Germany, it's not that uh, easy to get in contact with other people. Here it's not only getting into contact, but you also trust immediately the other people. And this is something uh, really, really different in, in Europe. Ja, ich kann eigentlich nur jedem empfehlen, nach Saudi-Arabien zu kommen, hier ein bisschen was vom Land zu sehen. Es öffnet sich für den Tourismus und es ist wirklich spannend und es ist ganz anders, als es noch vor einigen Jahren war. Musik